Paul. Uh, I'm Timo Sofia from Mirantis, uh, and I'd like to introduce you the Merlin framework for building UIs for humans. What's the problem with current OpenStack UIs? Uh, OpenStack is known as a system made by developers for developers. When it comes to user experience, it sometimes means that a user should read comprehensive documentation just in order to provide correct input, or even worse, find out the state of things through examining the source code. That is especially true for projects which have their own based, uh, YAML based input uh, with some domain specific languages. Such uh, inputs, they uh, include a lot of interdependencies with some constraints and other stuff which make it very easy for an inexperienced developer to make an error. And once uh, developers make an error, they face another daunting task, find out what's wrong with the data. Very good examples of such projects with a complex domain-specific language are Mistral, Hit, and Murano. So what should, do, uh, what should good UI do to prevent such errors? At first, it should uh, impose some restrictions on the data input uh, when, uh, to make it possible to input only uh, the data which is known to be compatible, for sure. Also, it should provide some auto-completion suggestions and validation hints, so uh, the user would know what's wrong and what's right with his data. And finally, it should uh, represent snippets of YAML document <coughs> being input with some composable visual elements uh, representing the whole hierarchical YAML as a, um, as a graph of some graphical nodes. This uh, graphical representation, it may be less flexible than the raw YAML document, but uh, it hasn't uh, to replace the original UI. For example, when uh, one uh, enters the uh, hot template, he could use uh, both UIs uh, and watch uh, as uh, the YAML document uh, as it changes, while uh, this user uh, makes some changes to the graphical representation <coughs> of the nodes. So. Still, even uh, the three aforementioned projects, uh, I mean, Mistral, Hit, and Murana, they have quite uh, different teams of developers and different goals. So it would be almost impossible to anticipate every uh, UI feature they are going to need. Instead of this, Merlin project aims to provide a very good set of tools each team could use on their own to build the UI they need. Uh, so, uh, in addition to the um, car functionality, uh, Merlin framework also ships with uh, a reference UI implementations to start with. Currently, uh, we've done one reference UI implementation for a Mistral workbook builder because uh, it's, uh, it has uh, the simplest DSL of the three projects, a reasonable choice to start with. Uh, also, we're doing uh, the Maryland framework to integrate into Horizon seamlessly from the very beginning to facilitate uh, further inclusion of Maryland into Horizon. We uh, hope it uh, happens in the nearest future. So that's uh, the general UI pattern for the, uh, the Maryland fr framework provides. So uh, first you see uh, here we integrate into existing Horizon page structure, uh, and um, it is Mr. Workbook panel. So uh, the panel is divided into two parts. To the left, uh, actual forms where the uh, data is being filled, also uh, all auto-completions and uh, validation hints are located there. And to the right, there is uh, a switchable view between a raw uh, YAML document or the graph representation. Currently, they are not very interactive, so they just reflect what is being uh, filled inside the 
form and widgets, but we plan to make them more interactive in the future. So you could edit the raw YAML and uh, these changes will be uh, applied to the forms. Okay, next. The Maryland framework uses uh, the modern uh, web development techniques. It is a single page application written almost entirely in JavaScript with a very thin uh, server side API for getting the data from uh, OpenStack services. It uses AngularJS framework to uh, provide a really interactive and responsive user experience. With uh, AngularJS directives, uh, this AngularJS facility, providing a, a very convenient way to reuse validation and uh, auto-suggestion, uh, auto-completion logic uh, to, re to reuse it in different fields, uh, Maryland framework renders. But what uh, makes Maryland framework really different from other AngularJS-based uh, applications is the data model it uses. It, uh, mm, to render very complex hierarchical YAML documents, it uses the special uh, Berkey JS library written specifically, uh, specifically by Drago Rosen, who is sitting in this room. <laughs> so uh, specifically for that purpose, uh, uh, well, it's really good. <laughs> and that's all that I say because it took too much time to describe it completely. Uh, so, uh, also um, using this Berkey.js library, uh, we could separate uh, some common stuff like rendering widgets and um, validation logic from uh, business logic of a specific project, be it Heat, Mister, or, or Morara. Uh, each uh, project is. Uh, separated from another by its distinct uh, set of Berkey JS classes in JavaScript. Oh, next slide. I'd like to see, uh, to show you a little demo of uh, Maryland powered UI in action. So, wait a minute. I prepare. Okay. Here you see um, the usual Horizon UI and we have uh, an empty list of workbooks, Mistral workbooks. The workbook is a um, container entity in Mistral uh, in which all the workflows, actions, and tasks Mistral is going to execute. Uh, so they are located here. First, we create a workbook. So we start uh, with the uh, top level properties of a workbook, its name, description, and version. Notice how all the changes I make to the fields. Oh, it's there. They're being instantly reflected in the right side of the YAML document and as the workbook title. The same for all fields, thanks to the uh, AngularJS. Okay, let's try some more interesting stuff. Uh, I'll add a workflow to the workbook. The workflow is a Mistral concept. It's um, put simply, it is a graph of tasks. It is a, a sequence of tasks uh, that Mistral orchestrates. Okay, to make uh, the workflow useful, I need to add at least one task to it. So here we go. Okay, let's add two tasks. A task uh, is another Mistral concept. So uh, there are two kinds of tasks in Mistral, an action-based ones and workflow-based ones. Action-based, it simply launches some Mistral custom action, which in turn uh, extends basic OpenStack actions. For example, uh, create server by Nova or create some network 
the neutron or uh, upload some image to glance. Okay, I'll start with, uh, I'll continue with creating some custom action. <coughs> and choose it to be Nova Create Server. Notice how uh, the set of base inputs for this task is Okay. Uh, notice how it immediately uh, changed. Uh, oh. So once I change the base action for this Mistral action, the set of inputs change. If I change Nova Create Server to Neutron, Create mm -hmm. Network, it is immediately reflected in the structure of an action. Okay. Then finally, I'd like to uh, specify what my task one actually does. So I start to type, and here we have one suggestion, action one. If I had two actions, for example, action two being a glance create image, uh, and under, under completion, Oops, suggest me two inputs. Well. This workbook is uh, just a sample. The real Mistral workbook could contain a lot of, well, tens, well, not say hundreds, but tens, 50, 40, a lot of actions, a lot of workflows, and that's where this UI makes it feasible to fill it by hand. So that's how uh, all uh, data restriction, auto suggestions and validations, how they work together to provide a better user experience when editing templates. This work, it uh, certainly hasn't yet finished. So we would be very happy to hear if feedback or even receive some contributions to the project. For that purpose, if you if you'd like to contact us, here are the project's contacts. So thank you for your attention. Bye. <laughs> mm.